friends. Today we're going to be talking about squares. Can you take the, the shape booklet out of your packet and we'll be looking at the first page, squares. Let's take a look up here, friends. A square has how many sides do you know? Did you say four? You're right. All four sides are the same. One, two, three, four. A square has four sides. A square has four sides. A square has four sides and they are all the same. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Four straight sides. No curves in a square. Look around your house. Can you find things that are square? At school, we have squares on our calendars. We have, hmm, well, there's probably a lot of squares around school. Maybe there are some around your house, too. Oh, there's a square up on my, there's squares on my signs. Oh, yes, and Mrs. Brown, I think, do you think these drawers, mm, uh, I don't know if they're I square. think they're square. I think they might be squares. Wow, look around your house and see if you can find some squares. Here are some more things that are squares. A chessboard or a checkerboard is square and it's filled with squares. Chessboard is a square. A Hershey's chocolate bar has four even sides if you break four corners, four pieces off. Square piece of chocolate, a square piece of cheese. Oh, there's some little holes in there. You have to pretend it's straight. A cracker. One, two, three, four. That's a square shape. A picture frame. Some pictures are square. Some are rectangles. This is a square. Look, there's another shape on top and another shape on top of that. A triangle and a circle. But we're talking about the square today. There's a window. Some windows are square. Some are rectangles. This one is a square. Well, let's take a look at our square worksheet. I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to get out my favorite color, blue. And friends, maybe your grown-up will help you write your first name on the line. Maybe you just want to write the first letter of your first name. That's kind of hard. Let's, Mrs. Beck, they need their name on it, though, so we oh, may return yes, it. You know what? Either you write your name or get your grown-up to write your name. I'm going to put my name on it mm -hmm. because when we come back to school, we want you to bring the shape book back so we can see what you did while we were away from each other. Mrs. B, E, C, K. When you write your name, always start with a capital and write the rest of your name in lowercase letters. Now on to the show. Let's see. This mouse is playing with blocks and each side of the block, the block is a cube, but each side of the block is a square. Can you color one square of the block? Now here's a big square. We can trace the square with our crayon. I tried to stay right on the dotted line. The square has four even sides. They're all the same. Now you can color in your square. Try and stay in the lines. But if you go, uh-oh, if you go out a little bit, don't worry about it. Just try to stay in the lines. We aren't going to worry about a little oopsie doopsie doos are there. Now, let's take a look at these shapes. This mouse mixed up all the shapes. We're supposed to color the shapes that are squares. That long thing, that's no square. That's a rectangle. We know what shape this is. We learned that shape. It's a circle, 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 rectangle, four even sides. This is a square. Oh my goodness. Can you find another square? Did you point here? You're right, that's a little square. Can you find the biggest square on the picture? Here it is. There's the biggest square. Again, we're going to try to color in the lines, but if you go outside a little bit like I did, don't worry about it. I see a medium-sized square. This is big. Here's medium. Can you find another square to color? 
That's no square, that's a rectangle. There's a triangle. Oh, did you point to that square? You are right, there's a square. Now friends, there's one square left. Can anybody find it? You are right, there's the last square. Great job, friends, you are awesome. Make it an awesome day and look for squares around your house. Do you want to See count the squares? Or did you oh, that's a great idea, Mrs. Brown. Do you think we should count this square here? Yes. The squares we colored. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do you know what I think, Mrs. Brown? What? They could color the mouse. Oh, that would be really nice. When they're done, on the back of the paper, maybe they could draw something that's square. Like a house. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Brown. My house is kind of an orangish brick. So I'm going to, hey, if I'm not sure about a square, I can see right through here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I better make some square windows. There you go. I want to make a rectangle door, even though it's not not a square. And now, oh my goodness, Mrs. Brown. That looks like a nice house. house. Do you know what shape my roof is, Mrs. Brown? It's, I don't know. Let me see. It's a triangle oh, shape like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, Mrs. Brown, I have a triangle. One, two, three squares. And does anybody know what shape the door is? Did you say rectangle? You're right. Maybe you'll want to make a rainbow or some grass and flowers. Maybe you and your dog playing outside. Whatever you want to draw on the back of your paper, that's a square. Something that's a square. See you next time. Bye, friends.